Hello, welcome back. I'm Maurice Kaiser. These are a bunch of comics, and I'm going to be reading this one. I get these from DCBS. I get them once a month because they only send out once monthly shipments for people who are living outside of the US, and I live in Japan. I get them from DCBS because I can get them a lot cheaper than ordering them from comic book shops in Japan. I'll talk about the new series that have just come out in the past few weeks that I'll be reading, and then we'll talk about the ongoing series that are still in my pull list. All right, here we got Demon Days X-Men number one. This is the Mark Brooks variant, and I think it is beautiful. I, I am a real big fan of Mark Brooks. This is being written and drawn by Peach Momoko. And what it is, it's reimagining the X-Men and I guess ca characters connected to them in mythical Japanese times. So there are people like for like Venom is some kind of demon that lives in the mountain or some, that kind of thing. Psylocke is just like a traveling ninja or some, some along those lines if nothing else i think it'll just be really fun i do like peach momoko's art as well even though i got the mark brooks variant yeah so it's, it's all really beautiful inside all right next up we got proctor valley road this is a new series with grant morrison we'll be doing some of the writing in here and that's that right there is enough to be excited about it uh, it's a new horror series and it's about uh, the ghosts or monsters that haunt proctor valley road and for teenagers who gotta stop them this is out of Boom Studios, who have to be doing a lot of good stuff right now. Two Moons, number one, this is out of Image Comics. I am really excited for this one. This is about, it's okay, it takes place during the Civil War, and there's this one Native American who joins the Union uh, to fight. However, his ties to the mysticism, I guess, uh, of his Native culture is coming back and in a very real way uh, affecting his life. Uh, this is also horror focus, and I think we're going to see a lot of freaking bloodshed in here. I am super pumped about it. And here are the ongoing series that are keeping my interest, at least for now. Uh, Batman 106, we have a two-part cover, you know, front and back. We see the entire Bat family that we know as right now. Uh, next up, Batman Black and White. This is an anthology comic done in black and white. Oh, uh, yeah, focusing on, you know, different parts of Batman's life. All done by different writers and artists. I am enjoying it overall, but it's not leaving me with anything lasting, really. So, I don't know for now. Crossover. This is number four out of Image Comics. Yeah, this is a, a huge, I guess, a huge crossover event for Image. I mean, they don't do that many of them. Uh, the character that showed up at the end of uh, issue number three was not the one I was expecting. I was really expecting Spawn for some reason, but yeah, that definitely wasn't it. Department of Truth, this is number six. This series is so good, and I think I heard it's already been optioned or something like that, which, whatever, that's that kind of like news is kind of bullcrap. But, uh, but yeah, it's an awesome series about conspiracy theories and what it takes to who spread them and the damage that that does. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty funny in, in a lot of places and weird and dark, and uh, I guess it's timely as well. Eternals number three, if the interior art has S.I. Ripic doing it, I'm almost definitely going to buy it. Uh, so, and that is definitely the case here. I'm not that, even that big of a fan of the Eternals. Uh, yeah, first few issues, I mean, it's keeping my interest. I mean, with the Thanos in there as well, and really uh, kind, of kind of laying out the history of the Eternals and how Thanos came into, or his connection to them and all that uh, is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, Esad Ribic is just, it's a, yeah, I gotta pick it up if, if he's doing all the interior art, just because I love it. It's so beautiful. Immortal Hulk is an amazing horror, body horror comic out of Marvel. It's not that often that a story can go, a comic can go 44 issues and just me drooling over every single one of them. Uh, this is a, this is a real accomplishment for Marvel. It's the best thing they're doing right now. Luna, number two. Oh, this one also out of Boom Studios. We were just talking about them before. This is a freaking sweet comic about a girl uh, joining a cult in the desert, like Manson-type cult, you know? Uh, I mean, well, they haven't gotten to the murder yet, but then there's a bunch of magic that's uh, being woven into it there at the end. Uh, there might be some creepy rude awakenings, uh, and, but it's, it's also... Uh, well, 
Yeah, trippy too. Yeah, uh, I, I really am. I really enjoyed the first issue. Being such a horror fan, I am definitely eating up this comic, Miskatonic. This is number four. Uh, this is coming out of Aftershock Comics. If you're a fan of H.P. Lovecraft at all, this is definitely worth a read. This is The Picture of Everything Else. This is out of Vault Comics, and this is number two. The Picture of Dorian Gray, if you're not familiar, it's a picture that ages, uh, and the guy does not. He's made a few recent uh, appearances in media, but the story is really old. What this is, the guy who did that painting... Um, he's murdering people by painting them and then ripping them, uh, ripping them up. Another artist sees this and is kind of inspired, wants to learn from him. Um, so yeah, it ended at a, a kind of weird place, the end there, uh, in issue one, but it definitely left me charged for issue two. Post-Americana, number three, this is gruesome, gross, and so awesome. Post-apocalypse U.S., we have a bunch of greedy, yeah, politicians, I guess. Well, they've become politicians. Uh, they're sending out the military to take back the United States. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, the joke is they're, yeah, they're, they're not good people. There's a bunch of cannibals all over the place. They're, well, I mean, well, I guess they're not good people either. I'm not saying the cannibals are the good people. Uh, they're, it's a group of people who are uh, fighting back, not cannibals, um, against, well, they fight against the cannibals and also this kind of new USA uh, that's pretty much built on, yeah, I, yeah, reminiscent of ideas of white nationalism and that kind of thing. And the president, you can see from the cover, is full on psycho. Savage Avengers number 18, freaking awesome action packed Avengers. This is the good Avengers team right now. Stillwater number six, Chip Zdarsky is writing it. And uh, last time I said it was going to set off with issue five, it did. A bomb went off in the courthouse. Of course, we know that nobody can die because this area brings everybody back to life. But uh, also we saw the reveal is one of the dudes, well, the police, sheriff or whatever, actually brought his marine buddies into the town so they can't, they can't die either. They're going to, uh, yeah, probably try to take control pretty soon. I hope you've been waiting for this. I hope you finished the first issue because it was so cool. Uh, this is The Last Ronin, number two. Or should I say the full title? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Yeah, this is number two. I wasn't actually sure who the last turtle was. I was thinking it was going to be Raphael. And then I got the comic. I looked on the back and it was red. And I was like, oh, man, it's Raphael. But I was really hoping it would have been Mikey. And it, and it is Mikey. Oh, man. But he's just, he's been broken. His brothers are gone. Well, not totally because they're talking to him and they're kind of ghosts, I guess. So I guess he's kind of off his rocker a little bit. But man, this is, I already, I love the ongoing uh, Ninja Turtle story going on right now. This is just another addition and another reason why I love I like Turtles turtle so much. Thor number 12, Donnie Cates is writing it. And man, oh, this is another, this, this is going great, man. This is going great. Uh, Donald Blake is a murder machine. Ah, oh, that's so good. It's so good. Well, he's not good for murdering, but the story is good. And it just happens that he's murdering people. On Earth, number 10. This is another one with a lot of body horror, horror in it that I really like. Cullen Bunn is writing it. Uh, and, well, yeah, I, I, I really like a lot of his stuff, especially when it's dealing with horror. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood. Uh, so, yeah, the end blood is what really started off uh, a trend here uh, in Marvel and DC. Uh, we have Batman Black and White, um, but then, yeah, Black, White, and Blood, adding that red ink there, uh, just adds a whole new other level. It's another anthology series. I like this one better than Batman, definitely. There you have it. Those are the comic books I'll be reading this month. Uh, let me know if you think I left out anything. Let me know that down in the comments. If you had a nice time watching, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you don't want to do any of those, I do understand, though. I do. I still hope you've had a good time watching. I just said it two seconds ago. I'm the Ernest Kaiser. See you next time. I like turtles.